Hey guys and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the T126 and today is going to be a good day. Is it going to be a good day? Let's look at the matchmaker. Yeah, I think it looks like it's going to be a good day. <laughs> the reason why I'm a little bit on edge is because uh, sometimes this vehicle can see some higher tier ones. It comes out about a rating of 2.7. Uh, it's a premium. And sometimes, because this matchmate, it's battle rating is like real, like right in between seeing low tier vehicles like the BT7s up ahead, but also seeing higher tier ones like the earlier variants of the KV1, which as you can imagine is a whole different story from the BT7. It's a lot harder to take on. And that's why I've got APCR rounds loaded in because it's all in anticipation of vehicles that I'm going to have trouble taking on. Uh, and that's one of the things about this vehicle as well that's really, really frustrating about it. It's, 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 shells are some of the most frustrating I've ever seen on a tank. Where their APCBC shells and also the AP shells don't have enough penetration a lot of times. I mean, they do, depending on what you come against. Uh, they have enough penetration to take on some things, but not everything. Even simple things like martyrs that are angled can all of a sudden become a monumentous, monumentous task to take on. That guy is going to get absolutely shrecked. Uh oh. Okay, we got to be a little bit wary, wary here of them shooting me in my turret. Because my turret is my weak spot. Alright, that guy is gone. Let's drop some artillery on these guys that are clustered here. Hopefully we'll be okay from the side. Alright, but artillery to get him moving. But also another thing, the AP, the APCR rounds are, they have more than enough penetration to take out enemies, but then they just, they have some of the worst bouncing I've ever seen. They bounce at the slightest amount of angling from the enemies. <sighs> Can I move in here? Okay, we killed it. We killed somebody. That's somebody dead. I'm just worried about getting shot from the side or anything like that. I think we're gonna potentially move in. I'll see. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I think I kind of fell. Ah! I exposed the top of my tank to the enemy. Look at that. I kind of fell into the ditch. That's not what I wanted. It's no big deal. I've got four crew members. And actually, the, the guy who does the uh, gunning is actually the loader as well. So even if I lose one guy in my turret, it's not a big deal. Oh my dearie me. Got a lot of shells inbound here. T-50. He's not really going to do anything. I've got a lot of armor to work with. By a lot, I mean a lot. About 70 millimeters of effective thickness. On the front of my hull. Is that rockets that I'm hearing right now? Yeah, that's rockets. Alright. So I can't... This is so stupid. <laughs> This is so freaking stupid right now. How am I supposed to take on the enemy? Alright, let's see. Maybe I can go around this way. Oh boy. But then I've got enemies that are off to the side here as well. What about this Panzer F? Let's see if we can get him. Do 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 do. Alright, as long as they don't come up behind me, I'm good with that. Hello. You can't damage me, sir. You cannot damage me. Alright. There we go. We got him. In the end, we did it. Alright, so now I'm gonna rush this guy. I just had to whittle down their numbers. This guy cannot damage me. That's for sure. He cannot damage me. The thing that I don't want him to do is get around my side. Because my side has weaker armor. But also... Has weaker armor. But also, I've got a slow traverse speed on my turret. Okay. Got a slow traverse speed on my turret. I've got actually more artillery. I could have dropped some more artillery. But gosh darn it. We just captured this point. We don't have any of the other points. I don't know how much I'm going to have to carry this match. We'll see. Luckily I've got really good mobility. I've got good mobility. Uh, maximum speed's about 35 kilometers per hour. Good acceleration. Kind of poor on the reverse. Good traverse speeds. Uh, so I'm going to try to use that to my advantage to get to B over here. BM824. I'm actually seeing more and more people using these rocket vehicles. Maybe it's because of that rocket science thing? You know that event that gone on? Maybe they got like a rental thing going? Maybe that's it. But that was literally one of the worst vehicles in the entire game, the BM824. Oh man, I don't like that one. It's really hard to make kills with it and dies very fast. So we're crossing uh, around the battlefield here. 
Still got the leeway of losing one more guy before it starts. Uh, well, before I'm actually dead. I mean, I can only have a maximum of two guys within a tank. Any less than that. And the tank just wouldn't work, would it? Alright, but luckily we're pushing on up to C. And I think I've got a teammate that pushed on up to A. So hopefully he's going to be able to hold that by himself. Ooh, look at that. Nice speeds right there. Getting me onto the battlefield. That's good. That's good. Getting me to where I need it to be. Let's drop some artillery on these guys that are stationary. Maybe we'll jog him up a little bit. And this guy, we'll give him a shell. An artillery strike as well. Make him feel a little bit loved. But yeah, the armor is really nice. Even all around on the turret, it's about 50 millimeters of effective thickness. But it just depends what you're coming up against. Uh, many tanks still have enough penetration to easily kill your guys within there. So we just gotta be careful. That's all I'm saying. Boom, and he's gone. <laughs> two, a two-member crew. Man, I don't think that was a good idea. They should have stuffed some guys into, into the uh, storage compartment or something, so that they could come out later. If they don't have the space, then they could uh, put in some children or something. I don't know. Make some space that way. All right. So I don't think we actually killed anything. Let's actually grab a bomber. I'm gonna grab a bomber. I know you guys don't like me grabbing bombers, but we're gonna do that because I want to get a vantage point and see what's actually going on around the battlefield. Uh, there's something over here. We're gonna just hide behind this log uh, cover over here. Hopefully that'll be good. Alright, so there's B. It looks like A is being decapped right now. God damn it, you guys. You just have one job. And my elevators or something is gone because I can't control my plane up and down anymore. So it looks like we're on a one-way road to hell. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can drop a bomb for this guy. See, Krebsy is very thoughtful about all my opponents here. I don't forget about anybody. And we're just going to jump out. We're just going to jump out. I could go back into my gunner position and try to take on the enemy, but meh. Or shoot down a plane behind me, but yeah, meh. Who cares? Alright, so we got guys around here. We could go to A, but I think B looked more cleared up, didn't it? Now, my, my concern is that I'm going to leave this area, and then mm, it's going to get capped. Oh, hold on. Ow. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got our... Uh-oh. Okay, let's get repaired re real quick here. Loader is down. My APCR rounds, unfortunately, don't do a whole lot of damage. It does do some, but not a whole lot of damage. Okay. My guy's still alive. I'm down to two crew members left. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. I was worried about this happening. This exact situation right here. Or a freaking T-50 or anything for that matter. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Was going to get through. And take the point. God darn it. Gosh freaking darn it. Okay, well now what I can do is I can take out a T-50, I suppose. Oh man, this is bad. I need to take a T-50. I need something speedy to try and recap these areas. But this is awkward. My team just has one job. Nobody's pushing up. This is... I don't understand. Look at all the... Uh, look at the bottom right. The bottom right-hand corner. The mini-map. And look at the amount of guys just staying stationary, probably shooting across the, the battlefield. That's not going to do anything. Don't be one of those guys. Don't be one of those people who shoots across the battlefield. That is literally the worst thing you can do. To shoot a, a kilometer away or anything of that nature. Because you're not going to kill anything. I can assure you, 9 times out of 10, you will not kill anything. It's much more efficient to just get close and closed in on the enemies. Let's see if we can steal this. Okay, we got it. Let's go push on up to A. This vehicle feels a lot like the... Uh, feels a lot like the T-126. Actually, it looks a lot similar, doesn't it? T-50. Alright, so it looks like we got somebody contending for the point. I need to support him somehow. Oh, nobody on my side. Okay, unfortunately he couldn't hold on to the point. Nope, that was nothing. Oh man, awkward much. 
We just don't have enough brave souls <laughs> to push on up to see. There's just not going to be enough time. I'm going to capture this zone, but I think what's going to happen as well. Uh oh. That's his gunner gone. Unfortunately, my cannon breach is down as well. Come on, repair. Critical. Repair, 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 repair. Repair. Are we repaired? Yeah, we are. Oh, good. The point stopped. That's good. That's really good, in fact. The point stopped ticking down. And that's going to be a bomb for me, so I've got to move. Oh, my! That's the biggest bomb I've ever seen! That's not like a P. <laughs> At least I capped the point. <laughs> For God's sake, that was like a fri that wasn't that almost like that was reminiscent of a PE8 freaking bomb. Oh, right. Moving on to the next vehicle. This video isn't even about the T126 anymore. Okay, to be fair, I mean, it was a good. Uh, when I took out the T126, it was a pretty good example of its usefulness. But whatever. Only so much Krebs he can do until eventually he gets surrounded by the enemy and absolutely shrecked to pieces. Ah, uh, this is over. This is all over. This is over. Who can we blame? I can't blame anybody. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. And the game. It's just about done. Suicidal enemies. And now what Krebsy is gonna do? Krebsy is gonna go cry in a corner. Because I tried very hard. This was supposed to be a good day. It was supposed to be a good day. And instead, it was not. It was not, guys. It was not. Krebsy tried. These are the re results. Right there. Right there. We tried, guys. We tried. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> I think the only thing I could have been better that round is just, uh, I need my teammates to really push on up the point. See, the thing is, you don't have to push back the enemy all the way to their spawn. All you have to do is just sit on the point. It's much easier to defend than attack. Whilst, if you cap a point, just sit on the point and, uh, wait for the enemies to come to you. You have the advantage. There's no point of just, you know, going crazy, crazy, crazy sometimes. But anyway, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until the next one, subscribe to me, and I'll catch you guys later. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dojo is local for sure. Though we gave it the rope that's opposed to